going to propose you a tale. A tale of doom. One day, on a quiet and peaceful evening, as you're relaxing on your sofa, almost about to drift off into a dreamless sleep, you hear the notification sound on your phone. One of your friends is saying your next cloud instance is down. What? How could that be? You followed all the tutorials correctly. Nothing would go wrong with that. Perhaps it's just them. It's almost certainly just them. You know, you've seen this before. It's just them. They're, you know, they're non-technical. They're running Nextcloud on Windows. It, it's breaking for whatever reason. You SSH into your server. Check. SSH times out. Weird. You think? I wonder if it's a problem with the, the server host. Maybe they're doing maintenance. Hmm. Not unheard of, but strange that you didn't get an email notification. Or maybe you did and it went straight to your spam. You log into your portal to be greeted with a red banner. Fire in OVH Strasbourg. That's your data center. What? You quickly go on the news and see it's plastered there. Check Twitter, it's trending. The data center is completely burnt down. Thousands of servers completely destroyed. All your friends and family have now lost all their data. They trusted you and you promised them that you would keep their data safe. All your movies and TV for your Black Simpsons destroyed. You spent hours, days, months curating, tagging. All of it gone in flames, in literal fire. Everything's destroyed. You, you, you briefly remember, you briefly remember thinking about backing things up when you first set up your server. I don't need them, you said. You set everything up correctly. And well, nothing will happen to you, right? Our snapshot is the easiest way to back up your server. You've heard of RSync. Well, our snapshot is the ultimate utility wrap. It's so simple, even I can do it. Set it and forget it. And once you've spent a very small amount of time configuring this bad boy, you can just leave it to go. It will automatically rotate your backups for you. It doesn't use much space. It utilizes these concepts that I don't understand, but they're called hard links, I'm told. Instead of creating a new file each time for each backup, if that file exists, it just links to the old one. Wow! This means that once you've backed up your server just one time, I say just one time, the backups will only grow in size when you actually have a new thing to back up. Magical. Order now for a limited time offer of free. Forever. That's, That's right. right. It is free. But you have to call now. Quick. It's free. For a limited time of just 30 plus one, it's free. Whoa. That's right. Thank the GPL, but quick. Now, hit the subscribe button. Smash that like button and get a free copy of our snapshot. Sorry, not sure who that was. Someone just randomly burst into my room wearing really weird sunglasses. Our snapshot, the backup tool of Kings. So yeah, backups look like this. They're just a directory. Uh, I've got mine on, a, on my NAS, mounted on my NAS. You run it on your server, if you've got a home server to backup remote server, or you just run it on your laptop even. If your backups aren't that big, you could even mount it to your NAS. From your laptop. I used to run it on my laptop for a bit before I had a, a dedicated server to do it. My current server is just an old laptop, so that's all you need. All you need is one of these old laptops to run the R, R snapshot client and on. That's it. Just one of these. Plug in. Buy one of these things. That's a hard drive. Uh, plug it into an external bay. Mount that drive. Set it up. Forget about it. Configure our snapshot. Find the default config file, probably in your Etsy directory, Etsy R snapshot. Delete all that cruft there, you don't need it. Instead, you don't want those silly delta and gamma and alpha things. I don't know what they mean. Put human readable things in, so retain daily seven, seven days of backups, retain weekly four, so that's a month's worth of backups there. Every every time weekly is ran, it copies one daily. Then once it's done four times it'll start it'll delete the old one uh, and then we got a monthly as well sign the monthly ones it copies a weekly one backing up a server simple as this sort of config here so for whatever user at your server colon slash or directory you can even do colon slash if you want the whole thing but i recommend things like uh var etsy home roots home to our user individual files even if you want put the name of the host at the end which is what, what it will be called on your server yeah the r snapshot file is actually takes a hard stance on the tabs versus spaces argument you have to put tabs otherwise it won't work might catch you catch you out test your config r snapshot dash t daily to do that it'll print out what it's going to run review the r sync commands it will run so to run this you would just type r snapshot and then daily weekly or monthly and that'll start your backup but you don't want to manually run these commands stick them in crons so i would use the the system wide 
my cron directories for this because they're already there for you. So you've got a cron.daily, you've got a cron.weekly, and you've got a cron.monthly. Create a really simple script. You shebang at the top, our snapshot daily, weekly, monthly in each of them. Put each of those scripts in cron daily, weekly, monthly, make them executable. Bam, your systems will now back up automatically. It is honestly that simple. It took me 15 minutes to set it up. That was mainly just me looking at servers and being like, which directories do I really want? Make sure you can access the servers though with SSH because it will back up via SSH. It does use rsync, but rsync over SSH you can. Specify the rsync protocol directly and do other methods of backing up if you want, but I'm not going to go into that. You can also do other things like take database dumps for you, but I don't, I don't do that. I just take a database dump on the server in a cron because I couldn't be asked to figure out how to do it in rsync. So yeah, it's probably quite easy. Uh, you can do it. I think it can just log into a server, run scripts, and then yoink the output back to your server. But yeah, it's honestly that simple. It's fantastic. Use it. That's the simplest way to back up the Linux server. There is a man who sleeps happy knowing his backups are in tip-top shape.